This next exercise is called static extension. You want to start off with a block or on top of a chair or an ottoman. This block is about 14 inches high. Uh, you're going to have your knees on top, hands on the floor. You walk your hands out in front of you an appropriate amount so that the shoulder is directly over the wrist, but then the hip is just in front of the knee. The distance from the hip to the knee is about a foot. Shouldn't go much further than that, otherwise you're in more of a push-up position and we're not getting the fold of the hip that we want. Shoulder blades collapse together, the head drops down, let the back sway. You're pressing the knees into the block or the surface that you're on and they're going that way to make sure that the body doesn't start to drift forward. So if you see yourself in a side view, if you have a mirror, set yourself up there. You don't want to have your shoulders drifting over your hand, you want to keep them back over the wrist. In order to do that, you have to press the knees in and you want to make sure that the feet stay down onto the surface you're on and also make sure your knees are hip width apart when you start this as you're holding it for two to three minutes. If this gives a large amount of pressure onto wrists or hands, then you can take out the block and just go to what we call static extension position, which is on the floor. You walk your hands forward about a full hand length. Shoulders then are above the wrists again. Arms are straight, head down, shoulder blades collapsed. The hips have come forward that same amount that you walked forward. The back sways, knees are pressed into the floor again to keep the hips and body from shifting that direction. You hold that there for two minutes.